Hello. I got a request uh, the other day regarding the priority rules in this uh, roundabout. I showed it uh, for dynamic assignment. So in this video, I'm just going to go through uh, the principles, how the priority rules need to be set up. So when you do priority rules, and also there are some, um, as you can see, a lot of conflicts you could set up, uh, but we are going to focus on uh, doing it with priority rules. It works much better. Uh, using conflict errors in this intersection or this roundabout would result in bugs um, and unnecessary blocking bugs. So the way to do it, it's not perfect, but let, let me just go through on starting on this approach. So as you can see, there is a, a single lane and a two lane uh, connector. Single lane goes out there to the left. And there is also a connector from there going there. So here, let me just show it in the list. So what we have there is these set up for these let me double click on it so as you can see this is only set up for um, heavies heavy vehicles buses and uh, um, trucks the stop line and there is a gap time set up for them quite a lot 3.6 so it is usually should be between like 3.34 up to four maybe even above four if you have very slow heavy trucks and the maximum speed is 180 so this is just basically and the uh, uh, conflict marker is here the green so this just basically checks if there is a truck um, coming here on the approach so this is only applicable for trucks but if i push tabulator it jumps on the overlapping one so in the same location there are two so let me just move this you will see that there are two here this is for all vehicles all vehicles and in this one there are two markers so one on the front and one in the back so the front one starts from here and again it is all vehicle types all vehicle types and here you have a very slow speed it's usually between 5 to 20 km per hour it can be anything it depends on your uh, model and the circumstances you have um, this is there in case there is a blocking back from this link so if vehicles are queuing back and moving very slowly um, that means in this area so between the conflict marker and that um, triangle the length the distance between the marker and the triangle is the headway the, this clearance this is this 10 meter uh, so this 10 meter will be checked basically so this vehicle coming here will stop here until this is empty but this is only checked uh, for vehicles driving here on over this link uh, less than um, 16 km per hour and then I have this one this is for the trucks or the heavies. Let me find this one. And then, so for normal vehicles, it is 2.6. So it is shorter. It is usually between three and 2.5. That, that usually, um, that's usually enough for normal vehicles, lights. But you should have like an overlapping ones for trucks. Since truck moves slower, you need to have a bigger gap. So they're only going to drive if there is a gap at least at 3.64 trucks and normal vehicles at least at 2.6 or 7. Okay, so let me just put that back there. Here, 
on these links, these should be very close to each other, so this distance should be minimal. If you want, you can move them like there. Otherwise, vehicles can't just do that. Of course, it probably not wouldn't happen, but if the distance is quite big, it can happen occasionally. So you want to keep these as close as possible. You don't want to make you don't want to have like such big distance between the two. <laughs> as you can see here as well, I have overlapping ones. So the way to do it is very important that you copy paste basically this distance. So if I click on it, you click on it, you can copy paste it and do it there. And this way it will be identical. You want to make sure that it is done like that. If you don't do it that way, even if there is a small decimal, like a proportion of a meter, that means that they will pass it. So let me just move it. That is like a tiny gap, but they will pass that and then this will not apply anymore. So you don't want that. You want them to overlap. You can do it in a way that you can just duplicate it. Once you do one, you can just duplicate it and create the truck version of it. Okay, let me undo the other one as well. <laughs> so what we have, so let's check these ones. Okay, let me move it, separate them out. So this is the first one. This is for all vehicle types. <laughs> all vehicle types. And for that, I have four. <clears throat> one is here. One is there, here. One is here, and another one is here. So let's go first. So we have two for checking to check gaps. And when the lane goes here to the curbside lane into this one, you still want to put one in the near side lane, sorry, far side lane here. But the gap time here is significantly shorter. So if you check, it is only 1.8 second here. But on this one, it is around 2.6, 2.7. So it is like below three, between two and a half and three. So here it requires for a larger gap, but here it's just basically a short gap. Then you have this one and this is not set up for all vehicles it only set up for heavies this one and here there is a crelance okay I should have ticked this one as well uh, that heavy uh, but mainly I think here only buses drive uh, so that's why probably I just tick bus <laughs> so when you have heavy vehicles <coughs> here is the same so you need to have some clearance and you have a max speed so you don't this is not for queuing this is here to check if a heavy vehicle drives here and not here so not the stop line that is for heavies is the marker so only the marker has a um, heavy setup so what that means is if a truck or a heavy vehicle comes here and since that is long, you don't want this guy from here to come in and while it cleared the gap, because it is already driving here, so there is you know, gap behind. <coughs> so it will start driving, but the heavy, the long vehicle is still here driving on this lane. So it would just basically crush into the trailer or at the end. So that's why you want four heavies also set one up with some clearance and with the uh, big maximum speed. And then you have the one for queue in. So if there is a queue reaching back all the way here, you want a short, uh, sorry, not short, uh, a slow speed. So to only check it when vehicles are queuing and uh, if there is a rolling queue or something. <coughs> And you don't limit it, so it's all vehicle types. But on the other hand, here, um, it is very similar what we had before. We just need to have more. So we need to check for the same um, heavy long vehicle on this lane. 
but we also need to check more for this lane because it drives onto that lane. So let me move it separate. Uh, let me separate out it again. As you can see now, I have more conflicts here set up. So we have one here. Let me just move it slightly. So we had one here. And in previously, when vehicles drive into this lane and not onto that lane, it was 1.8. So now it is 2.7 because they drive into this lane. So you need to make sure that there is enough gap because it will take time to arrive. So it needs more gap. And again, speed is um, not restricted low. <laughs> now we have check for queuing. So some clearance and the slow speed or vehicle types starting from here. So you just need to make sure that this is behind that point. So you don't want this to be like this. So as you can see now a new triangle appeared. So you want this to be behind and you want to cover this area where the link basically comes in. So like this distance, you want to make sure there is no one standing here. And there is no undo. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. So let me just uh, come back here. So now we have that to check for queuing vehicles or inside the roundabout. The third one is this one. So as you can see here, it's a little bit less, the gap time, it's a bit shorter time. Uh, again, no, not restricted speed and no restriction on vehicle type. It can be lower because here the vehicle just basically cuts through this lane. While here it arrives and it still need to accelerate up. So it will provide some blocking uh, to the one upstream coming here. So here the gap can be a little bit shorter. Here it's a bit more because this vehicle will drive in and might need to accelerate. Um, and this vehicle come of course with a higher speed. And the fourth. <laughs> so here this is for the heavies again. So it is placed here. And this is to check this area. If there is a heavy and long vehicle driving so you don't want anyone to drive into the trailer or the end of that long vehicle. So you just want to check uh, and the maximum speed again, it's not restricted, just the vehicle type here to heavies. And uh, again, this is only applicable for the conflict marker. So here, so it checks for heavy vehicles here, but here it can be a car, light, heavy, bus, anything. So they all wait until this is clear. So there is literally nothing here. And last, again, checking for queues in this lane as well. So we check queues on both. So let's have a summary then. So let's have a look at this one. So you have, um, and before we do the summary, let's have a look at the heavies. So for heavies again, um, I have a marker here, a stop line. But as you can see here, I only have four gaps. I don't have any here because we already deal with that under this one and this is applicable for all vehicle types so this one only for heavy so for this one you want an extra um, an extra condition where you have gap times over three so it is a bit longer <laughs> so to have a summary so for when you do priority rules you always need to have like two and they must overlap perfectly on each other. Um, you have one for all vehicle types first for the stop line, and then you have two for gaps. So you only always check for gaps. If you have more lanes, you probably don't want to check on the third one for gaps. If you come into this lane, if you come into this lane, you will need to check on both lane the gap. If you come into this lane, you only check for like half a gap time here. So this 1.8 second. 
But if you drive onto this lane, you need to check for uh, like 2.7 ish, 2.53, depending on what kind of cars you have. And then you have the same for trucks, just this 3.3, 3.4, 7, something like that, up to 4. And then for all vehicle types, you will have uh, these markers to check against QIN, where you reduce the speed and set up the length accordingly. So if this if this is more like this, then you probably want to have this starting from here and you want to have like a maybe 12 meter. Okay, that's a bit too much. Maybe like eight. Yeah. So then you want to check for this. If it is here, you would probably check again for there. So yeah, that's done there. So here we have three lanes. I'm not going to go through all of them. Just this is also a good example. So now there is this conflict marker here. And this goes into the middle lane because from there it can drive here, but also there. Of course, you can have multiple ones going into each part. It's such a low volume that uh, it doesn't matter. So when we look at it, you can see that there is one over there as well, but you need to check like the gap on every single one. So this is like 2.7, then this is 2.8, so very similar values. And then this is just 1.8, because if you drive into the middle lane, you still don't want to drive when it's someone driving here, but you want to take it into account. So that's 1.52 is, is, is a good value, I think. And also you have these uh, to check for, um, to check for gaps. I mean, not gap like for clearance. So if there is a queue in uh, going on, you can check here. Uh, where the speed is low. Here, this is not for all vehicles, so this is only for uh, heavies. And as you can see, the speed is not restricted, just the clearance. And there is one overlapping here where the speed is um, low. This is for all vehicle types to check if there is a queue there. And basically the same principle is applied here. So in this one, this is probably 1.8, 1.8 and full speed, um, and so on. And here, the same is applied like, like here. As you can see, there is a long clearance. So if there is a queue reaching back from here, vehicles will wait here until this section is clear. And here as well, we are checking for gaps and for clearance. So I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you uh, want me to show all of them or I missed something. Thanks for watching uh, and please like and subscribe. And also if you want to support the channel, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching.